The rail system has never been busier. More people and more freight are on the move by rail today than ever before. As passenger numbers and freight volume rise, increased traffic means more wear and tear. The network needs constant repair and renewal, but access times for engineering works have been reduced and the costs associated with maintaining the railway have soared. This is now the single biggest challenge facing the industry. Disruptive access and blockades are complex, risky and very expensive. They also drive away long-term customers and generate bad publicity. The non-intrusive crossover system provides one answer to this problem. It offers an innovative solution to reduce costs, improve the efficiency of engineering work and keep trains running. The system has already undergone a thorough feasibility review and full vampire derailment analysis with complete success. The non-intrusive crossover system is set to change the way the industry deals with its infrastructure. But how does it actually work? Like most good ideas, it's based on a very simple principle. The non-intrusive crossover system lifts a train up by 50 millimetres supports its weight while turning it out from the parent track, crosses it onto the other track, guides it back to the correct alignment, then lowers it onto the track itself. The system is available with left-hand or right-hand turnouts that can be used in either facing or trailing situations, but both types use the same components. Ramps to lift up the train, switch plates to turn it out from the existing railway, gut rails, standard rail between the switch plates and crossing plates, which continue to turn the train away from the existing line. Crossing plates, which allow the train to cross the existing line onto the other line. A second set of gut rails, which turn the train towards the other line. More switch plates to realign the train. Then, finally, another pair of ramps to lower the train back down onto the other track. Beautifully simple and completely effective with proper railway engineering tolerances built in to keep everything smooth and easy to install. Network Rail has already used the non-intrusive crossover system at three locations on a project to increase capacity of the Trent Valley section of the West Coast Main Line. The non-intrusive crossover system allowed engineers' trains and on-track plant to transfer between tracks during the installation of two additional tracks and ancillary work. Both the contractors and the project management team agreed that the use of the system had been very successful, saving both time and money. The non-intrusive crossover system has been designed to work in a variety of ways. Here we see a simple crossover within a worksite, in a T3 possession. It can be used by engineering trains and on-track plant as required. And here, both a facing and trailing crossover within a worksite, allowing better access and egress to major works within the possession. A temporary siding can provide instant access by on-tracking plant or storing an engineer's train. Temporary sidings could of course be used for forestry work. And even on a single line, here with a run-round facility. Short single line working around a major blockage could help trains achieve better access. And here, fore tracking can be assisted by the use of the non-intrusive crossover system. The non-intrusive crossover system can be installed onto the parent track within a 12-hour possession of the line and either locked out of use or utilised immediately. The unit can be brought into use within one hour in any subsequent possessions and can be changed from normal to reverse in less than 10 minutes. By simply turning out the switch and crossing plates, the parent track is available for use during or between possessions. On completion, the non-intrusive crossover system can be removed within the first available eight-hour possession of the line. The non-intrusive crossover system proved its value during a 23-day closure to upgrade and renew more than 5 kilometres of twin track between Wallsend and Tynemouth. 
Thailand Rear Metro carries over 40 million passengers each year and is the backbone of the area's public transport network with trains running every three minutes at peak times. The contractor decided at the planning stage that work on their section of this £580 million project could not be completed within the allocated time frame without using the non-intrusive crossover system on the closed section of the track. This also avoided further station closures. Actual progress achieved exceeded programme targets with 40% more work completed than programmed in the first two weeks alone. Using the non-intrusive crossover system allowed the whole project to be delivered on time and, most importantly, saved substantial amounts of money by helping to reduce costs. The non-intrusive crossover system is set to pioneer a whole new way of working on the tracks. It will provide extra operating time on all routine engineering projects, reduce the complexity, risk and unwanted delays caused by blockades and, most importantly, save the government and the industry a substantial amount of money.